Hello everybody, welcome to this video. In case you want to design a, a UI similar to this one, and you want your UI to be responsive, so in case you uh, just minimize the screen, maximize the screen, you need your game to be responsive, you have to know and to understand how to use the new Unity UI system. In the Storyboard UI kit, uh, which is uh, an asset uploaded to our asset store we introduce to you how to use asset store without using the new unity UI system uh, by using the uh, standard sprite with colliders and our custom event system right now just want to explain to you how to design a similar menu to this one and to customize and build it from scratch in order to ensure that you are familiar with designing your game in the way that you want to just configure all the UI component in the way that you desire. So let's get started by going to any of your projects and create a new scene here. I'm just gonna uh, make a new scene here. So don't worry about the current project. You can go to any of your project here and go and start a new scene. So I can go here a uh, new scene and with this new scene I I can just come here and save the scene and go to uh, the scenes folder and just save this as test UI all right awesome so we just get started with uh, test UI here so uh, first thing in order to change the color of the scene you have two many ways you can go to the main camera here and choose skybox and go here choose some certain color as you can see here or you can um, do do it other way you can use uh, background and the best way to do this is by using uh, our responsive script so you can go here and this is just for the background guys we're not gonna use the UI here we're just gonna use a background why because background is uh, a sprite and you can put it under the UI element so in case you're talking about games you have sprite in your games so the best way is to put the sprite as a background not a UI element as an image here so I'm just gonna go here and create a new empty game object and name it as background All right, and I'm just gonna attach a script to this background by going here to something called responsive. All right, can give this script from the UI kit uh, in this uh, course, uh, and it's included in the script folder of this course. After that, you have to uh, configure the everything here, including the camera. So now, see, we're talking about 2D project. The camera is orthographic, so I can drag and drop the camera here. Also, I need to attach a sprite. So you can come here and attach a sprite. A sprite render. So I'm just going to give you a, a zip file including all these UI elements we have here, uh, many elements. Uh, so you have to uh, use them inside this example. So you can go here, copy them, extract them. You can find them in the download tab. And the description of this video oh, and in the bonus uh, in the source course section of this course so if you have problem finding them just contact me I'm just gonna send them to you so you can copy them here and uh, go to your unity project inside of your scenes uh, inside of your sprite folder and just paste them here so you can come here sprite and paste them inside sprite folder all right awesome so right now I can go here and use that sprite so here I can find the background and I can use it as you can see here awesome all right so this is the first thing guys uh, we are using the background here and you can see the background is almost there and we're using here percentage you can use percentage or aspect ratio I'm just gonna use percentage and we're not gonna we, we're not seeing the uh, 
we're not seeing the background because if you go to 3d mode here you can see the camera is here and the game object is uh, the camera is here and the game object is below the camera so you can move the game object or you move the camera um, let's move the camera to the back a little bit talking about here so this is the camera this is the background game object you can click alt in the keyboard in order to see where you are so we are here and this is the main camera it's here all right okay that's good so we can move it a little bit and all right so I'm trying to remove the object and move them actually to uh, in front of camera so sometimes you, you're gonna have a lot of troubles when you do this but I do recommend all the time when you start with the first scene to come to the main camera and reset it to the default position here zero and also go to the background and reset it also to the position zero and after this if you attach the responsive just turn it off all right and just go to the main camera here double click click on it and you just go again to the 3d mode so right now we can see the camera and the background are the same position so I can go to the camera and move it a little bit to the back so I moved it here the camera I moved it to minus one in the z-axis as you can see here so right now the background is visible so I can go to the camera and enable the responsive script here as you can see all right so I can back right now to the TD mode and all is good uh, I can take this background and just to test it out I can click play so here we put percentage and I'm setting this to the awake so once you click play we're just gonna test it out alright so we need to do some configuration to the background alright so basically at the beginning I can just you know make this background something similar to this and I can go to the percentage and I'm setting this to the awake and here I need to do scale do translate and I need to enable it and here for the X position fraction and the Y position fraction and the here we have the X scale fraction and the Y scale fraction I can put these as one to one because I want to fill the screen so right now if you click play You can see here I put it to one and this is gonna take me to X scale one and Y scale one all right and because here we're talking about aspect ratio so if I open an, an other scene let me just show you for example let's save this and I go to other scene that I have here for example this scene you can see here I'm putting this to pers uh, response uh, percentage and awake and I'm given here some sort of configuration the X position and Y position I'm put it here 0 0.5 0 0.5 and this is stands for uh, the X position and Y position of the background so they're gonna be center center of the screen and here also I am put on uh, enabling the X scale to be 0 0.2 and 0 0.34 so this is the ratio between the uh, X scale which is the X axis and the y scale which is the y axis and the aspect fraction is one here so we need to do almost the same thing here for that background so 0.2 on 0.34 in order to make a responsive in that screen size so so you need to know the ratio of your image and after that you can apply that to it so here I can go and uh, set up the exposition scale which is 0.2 and here the y position scale which is 34 all right, so right now I can go here, play. And you can see here, the background is is not responsive. And I can just remove this and add this again. 
after the sprite render so here yeah I'm just gonna choose percentage and here put 02 times 34 all right and here don't forget to add the main camera okay I'm play all right it's responsive right now and this is really awesome so all the time make sure that you add a sprite first then add the responsive script to the screen so you can see right now it's responsive and this is really awesome so this is the first step guys all right so after this step uh, we can uh, do something else we can add uh, we can for example add buttons we can add the uh, uh, we're just gonna do something similar to this game here so we here we have this game here we're just gonna do something similar to this one so here we have uh, like a list of a list our menu and this menu got many items we got a button here we got some sort of uh, live indicator in the top here to bar and we got a photo here we got icons here so we're just going to do all that in the next video so thank you guys again for watching and see you in the next lesson